Hey guys, so I just have a quick um, word, so to speak. I'm going to say this because I was praying in my house not too long ago um, and I heard the Lord say, distraction is a form of spiritual warfare. And that really hit me because all week it felt like, actually the past weeks I've been feeling so distracted distracted and just like burnt out and I just could not figure out like why am I feeling like this and it took this prayer this time of prayer with the Lord to really know that this is spiritual warfare something amazing is about to come forth something amazing is about to literally be birthed a lot of us are getting ready to birth something that God had placed in us and I am just like okay well God if that's for me then let it be so a lot of times we think that um, spiritual warfare comes in the form of depression or it may come in the form of grief or like, um, you know, people rejecting us, making us feel bad, maybe fear of bad news, something like that. Fear in any way, shape or form. That's not the only weapon of the enemy. He has the same weapons over and over. He uses them all the time. And one that we ignore is distraction. When, when distraction is in place, you it gives you the advantage to literally take over whatever it is that you want to get um, or whatever it is that you're distracting this person from. Um, so ultimately, that's exactly what the enemy is doing. It, it means that God is doing, he's getting ready to do something amazing. And I mean, in even in the coming days, even if it's even even if it is something that's crazy that's about to take place within the world or in the earth so with that being said you know i just want to encourage you to know that distraction is a form of spiritual warfare so you might be asking okay now that i know that this is spiritual warfare what do i do pray continue to pray through this continue to uh maybe even fast you could even um worship praise praise god speak in the holy pray in the holy ghost at the end of the day the bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds whenever you are utilizing your weapons that god has given to you you are literally defeating the enemy and a lot of times we think that um you know I'm, I have to say this, but we, we fail to realize that scrolling social media is a form of distraction. It's actually, in fact, a form of spiritual warfare when you know that God has told you to do something else. If he told you to write that book or if he told you to start that podcast, if he told you to edit that video or if he told you and I'm naming stuff that he like it like it comes like. You know, he's told me and I've found myself scrolling social media for no apparent reason, knowing good and well, I don't need to be on there because I now see the enemy is trying to steal something from me. Don't be distracted. The devil is trying to distract you. The enemy is trying to distract you. He hates what God is about to do and he wants you to miss it. He wants you to be on like, like literally like him. We think of Mary and Martha. At the end of the day, distraction literally means like dragged out. And I, I love how Tiffany Montgomery had put it in one of her videos. She said it, the definition of distraction, I think it was like in the Merriam-Webster or something like that. It was literally like they put two horses on, I could be wrong the where the definition came from, but she said they put two horses on the side of each other, on, on the other side of the, uh, the person, and they would literally pull this person apart like, pull them apart, it, they would distract him. So this is what, this is ultimately what the enemy does to us. He makes us so, it's like he, it, it's like sometimes we can feel pulled, like I know I should be doing this, but instead I wanna do this. I know I should be doing what God told me to do, but instead I just feel like, I feel like scrolling social media for 50 minutes to an hour when knowing good and well, I ain't even pray that long. It's distraction. So let me just encourage you, don't be distracted. Don't be, also, and not only that, distraction don't even have to be scrolling social media. Distraction can be just too busy. Martha was distracted, Mary was not. Peter was distracted and something great was happening. He was walking on water. So I just wanna encourage you today, don't be distracted. Figure out where you are. We have to, we have to be truly like the sons of Issachar, the children of Issachar. You know, be so in tune with God to know the times and the seasons and know exactly what's taking place. And he will reveal that to you if you ask him. He's not going to leave you in the dark. This is why he said, let there be light. He wasn't just talking to the earth. 
He was speaking to you. He was speaking to us. Let there be light in every dark place of our lives. And darkness isn't necessarily, it doesn't even necessarily mean evil. It means the unknown. So anytime you're, you don't know something, it's darkness. But this is why we ask, Father, reveal to us who, mm, reveal to us what this is. Like you're seeking Jesus. You're seeking for understanding. He will bring light to those dark places. So anyway, I, I love you guys and I pray that, you know, this message sits well with you. I'm going to go ahead and pray and I, um, for, for anyone who may feel distracted or may be in, a, in um, warfare right now. Father God, I just thank you so much for what you're doing in the lives of these people and, and all of us, Lord God. I just ask, Lord God, that you, you begin, that the eyes of our understanding would be enlightened, Father. Give us an increase of wisdom and revelation, even understanding, God. Father God, for your word declares that your people perish for lack of knowledge, but it also declares that through knowledge the just shall be delivered. Father God, we are knowing that that distraction is a form of spiritual warfare god so i just ask that you literally open up our eyes may the eyes of our understanding be enlightened that we won't be distracted that we will press in and press our our uh, and draw near to you in the name of jesus christ that we will remain like mary that it, that we will stop being martha and we will sit like mary in the name of jesus at your feet god father god i just thank you lord jesus that your your presence is over this this um, entire video, Lord God, that you are bringing and breathing breath upon uh, your people. And you are, you are even just giving them revelation after revelation, waves upon waves of revelation, and even strategizing, giving them Holy Spirit strategy on what to do. Father God, I thank you so much. And even the songs to sing, that there's even... Ooh, there's uh, some of us that that the Lord is even going to give like specific songs to sing to literally stop distraction like that that's and, and it will stop you'll even notice it like it's going to it might even be like in the mental warfare mental warfare is a form of distraction as well um you know the comparison it's a form of distraction but there's a song this specific song of deliverance that the lord sings over you that he is truly going to that he you're going to hear and you're going to begin to sing it and the distraction will leave in jesus name so father god i just thank you right now for for your word and even the strategy that you've given to us and that you're going to give to us in jesus mighty name father god empower your people to press forward and move forward and even to wear the armor of God always and forever in Jesus mighty name amen I love you guys and I pray that this resonates with you ministers to your spirit and know that you are coming out because greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world you belong to Christ it's time to rise bye